Hey guys, Jim from Import Image Racing, and today we're going to be installing the Noble STI wing on our VB chassis WRX. I know making permanent modifications to your trunk lid can sound pretty intimidating, but with all of the things that are provided with this kit, this install should be a breeze. So we're going to start by popping the trunk and removing the interior liner. To remove our interior liner, there's going to be a handful of plastic push pins. You can either get them with your fingernail to pop it out or with a flathead screwdriver to release the head. With the felt liner removed from the trunk, we're actually going to close the trunk once again and we're going to apply our templates to the outer edges of the trunk lid. The kit comes with two templates, one per side, and what we're going to do is line this up to our window edge and our trunk liner edge. And then we are going to use some painter's tape to tape this down so that it doesn't move. In each one of our templates, you're going to see three cross hatches. So what I'm going to do is take a small drill bit and actually scribe the paint on top of each one of the cross hatches so that our drill bit sits flush. With that same smaller drill bit, which is a 330 seconds in this case, we're going to go ahead and make our first pilot holes on each one of our cross hatches. For our leading hole facing the outside and front of the vehicle, we actually have to drill through a second layer of sheet metal, which can be exposed to our weather stripping. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a microfiber cloth, lay it underneath where our hole is, and we're going to drill through that second layer of sheet metal. Here's the spot where it comes through on the second layer of sheet metal. Now we're going to repeat these steps for the other side. Now that I'm happy with the location of the holes, we're going to open these holes up to a quarter inch drill bit. As a little bit of a tech tip, once we've drilled our quarter inch hole from the outside and reach our second layer, we can drill the second layer from the inside to the out to not make contact with our weather stripping. With all of our mounting holes drilled to size, we're gonna go ahead and remove the templates and prep the surface for the bases. With the mating surface of the trunk clean and prepped, we're gonna head over to prepping our bases. In the kit, you're gonna see four of these square foam pads. If you come over here to the edge of the base, you're gonna be able to see two drilled holes, one here and one here. They use this to mock the actual wing up for paint, but we're gonna cover them up with these felt pads. After we've installed our pads, we're gonna put our weather stripping around the perimeter of our base before we install it to the vehicle. With our perimeter set, we can now install the base. In conjunction with mounting the base, we're gonna prep our hardware. With the hardware provided, we're gonna take our short bolt and a flat washer, and we're gonna put those together. And with a magnet, we're gonna slide this whole assembly into our middle hole in the trunk. Next, we're gonna prep one of our longer bolts where we put a locking washer on first and then a flat washer and we're gonna feed this through our outer edge hole. Using these two pieces of hardware as a guide, we're gonna to start to install our base. For our third and final piece of base hardware, we're gonna take a long bolt and apply a flat washer. But in the kit, there's also these plastic spacers, which we're gonna to have to get between the two layers of sheet metal inside the trunk lid. So to do that, we're gonna grab our little tong with a pair of pliers, and we are gonna insert it into the trunk and line it up. With all three pieces of hardware installed, we're gonna go around and final tighten every one. But before we do our outer edge hardware, we're actually going to remove this, add a dab of Loctite, then reinstall that piece of hardware. The reason we're doing that is because we have the two layers of metal here. So the bolt will actually start to compress that metal together before it fully tightens. So adding the Loctite allows us to get a full bond to our base while not over cranking our hardware down. Now we can grab our second base and repeat all of those steps for the other side. There we go. Both sides of our base hardware are tight. So we are done inside the trunk. So we are gonna replace our felt, close this up and then move over to the wing bridge. With the wing bridge in hand, we can place it on top of our bases. 
take a washer and add it to each one of our six bridge hardware. Then we can install the hardware onto the bridge. We can start installing our three per side 10 millimeter bolts into the bridge. Loosely install all six pieces of hardware before we tighten everything down. Finally, with all of our bridge hardware installed, we're going to install our bridge hardware cover with the two provided self-tapping screws. If your wing comes equipped with the Series 2 hardware shown on the table, we will go over that installation as well. All of the same holes will need to be drilled, just as the Series 1 hardware. The next step is to open the inner holes only from positions 1 and 3 to 9 16 allowing space for the washer and nut to be installed shortly. Next, install the studs into the braces with between 17 and 17 and a half millimeters of exposed threads, adding a dab of Loctite to secure the stud to the base. Install the base to the trunk. Use a flat washer on hole positions two and three with the lock washer on hole position one. Finally, install the securing nuts and move on to the wing bridge as previously shown in the video. There we go. This thing looks great. What do you guys think? Thanks for taking a look at the installation of the Noble STI wing on the VB chassis WRX. For more parts just like this and thousands of others, be sure to hit up importimageracing.com for all the best deals in the world and on the web, and we'll catch you on the next one.